Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create an Ethereum wallet using MetaMask. So in one of my videos that I had created before, I had bought some Ethereum coins or Ethereum and this is kind of a continuation in that sense that let's just say I now have the coins, how do I store them safely and securely? Now I would uh, suggest or I can recommend using MetaMask uh, for someone who is just kind of getting into crypto and uh, they don't want to buy a hardware wallet just yet. I mean, for myself, I wouldn't put a, a lot of money on MetaMask or put my, a lot of coins using a MetaMask wallet. I would use a hardware wallet to put more uh, more amounts in those but for you know basic amounts just like anything under 100 or 200 or whatever amount that you're comfortable losing then uh, I would put on MetaMask because it's an ethereum based wallet do not send any other coins to your MetaMask wallet they will be lost the coins will be lost if you do so uh, so if you send your Bitcoin or your uh, Litecoin to MetaMask thinking that they that it can store it, you're going to lose them. So please don't do that. All right. And I'm not responsible if that happens. So other than that, let's get started. So what we're going to do first is we're first going to go to this website here, MetaMask.io, and then we're going to click on the Get Chrome extension. So once we click on that, we need to then add to brave right so we're going to add this extension or i'm using brave right now but you can also use chrome so once it's been installed it'll bring you to the page and you can then get started here right so let's get started and i'm going to create a new wallet so i'm, I'm going to start and create a new wallet make sure you read this right so it's basically in a user agreement. So I'll, let's just say I agree. All right. I'm going to use or create a password. All right. Uh, there we go. And yep, create. Now, this is really important. These words here are your backup phrase or your backup words. Okay, so just as it says here, a warning, never disclose your backup phrase to anyone. So you want to keep this really secure. You need to memorize it or put it into two or three different locations. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to reveal it to you because I'm not really going to use it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to reveal it I'm just going to copy it so then I can you'll see in a second because it's going to ask me to uh, put these back in order on the next page so when I click next it's going to ask me for the backup phrase in the correct order so I'm just going to do what I or select what it it is in order so insect where is insect uh, here we are. So insects, mammal, illness, and then margin, coffee, oyster. So coffee, oyster, and then we have various belt short, various belt short. What else? Uh, float, poverty, wood, float poverty would and the order of the order of these words do matter so that's that's really important all right click confirm and pretty much it's saying this is how you can store it safely so all done now you've got your metamask ethereum wallet set up basically you can take a look at your address here so if you click on the address it'll give you the full address on what your Ethereum wallet is. You can view it on Etherscan. So Etherscan is how you can check out the blockchain 
uh, transactions on uh, for your Ether wallet. You can also add tokens. So you can add a token name. So example, BAT, BAT, basic attention token, right? You know, let's just say I want to add that in and yeah, add tokens. So now I can see what other uh, Ethereum based tokens I have, right? So pretty much that is what uh, MetaMask is. Again, um, don't reveal those words. That's really important. And yeah, that's uh, the, this is just an introduction video as to how you can create a an Ethereum wallet all within a few minutes, all right? But yeah, anyways, I hope you found this video informative. And if you did, please like it. Uh, leave a comment down below on what you liked or what you didn't like about this video. And uh, I hope you subscribe if you are interested in receiving notifications of my future videos. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.